Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel or welcome back to some more Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So if you guys didn't see yesterday's video, I actually did complete the gold grab grind. If you guys haven't seen that video, make sure you guys go check it out because it was just insane. So that means I'm starting the M4A1 gold grind. And as you guys can see, yeah, I am so far off getting this gun to gold. I mean, I have a few cameras that are very close to 10 out of 10, such as spray paint, woodland, and skulls, which are all 9 out of 10. I have some which will come passively, such as dragon, digital, and stripes, which are all 7 out of 10. And then I have the ones that I've got to focus on, topper, reptile, and splinter. Those ones are so far off getting completed. Since the attachments I'm using on my M4A1, I've got the monolithic suppressor, stock M16 Grenadier, range of 4 grip, 60 round mags, and a no stock. To be honest, I just searched up on YouTube best M4A1 loadout and it came up with this. I've played a few matches with this gun already and it just shreds people, dude. Like, it is just insane. I mean, hopefully this gun does shut up for you guys on camera because this thing is a beast. But anyways, guys, before I get into it, if you guys could please give this video a big thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe to Charles for support. I appreciate all of it. Support on the past few videos lately have just been insane. Thank you guys so much for that. I really do appreciate it. It means a lot to me. But anyways, guys, let's hop right into it. Also, if you guys haven't noticed, I am using a different camera. Hopefully, the quality is better. Let me know down in the comment section if you guys actually do notice quality difference. Because hopefully, it does make the lighting a little bit better. But I mean, again, guys, let me know down in the comment section if you do see a difference. Dude, I haven't used an M4A1 in ages. Like, I did tell you guys that I have used this gun a couple times already before. But I mean, prior to that, dude, I haven't used it since I leveled this gun up with double XP ages ago. It wasn't even the previous double XP, dude. It was like ages ago that I leveled up this gun. But I mean, this thing just shreds people dude like the damage output is just what separates it like obviously it is hardcore hardcore makes every gun look godly and looks like it shreds people but like this gun in particular it's just insane dude it's like on another level i hate how i'm in shipment though especially with domination because people are camping these objectives if you guys haven't seen, apparently Xbox actually did release like the price and the release date of their next gen console. So it's Series X and also Series S, which is like a smaller version of next gen, which I mean, I'm very surprised that they're releasing that. It's kind of, it kind of reminds me of like the PS4 Slim. I don't know if PlayStation is going to make like a PS5 Slim. That'd be pretty sick. But apparently the Xbox is like 700, 800 Australian dollars, which is actually a lot of money. And it comes out on, I believe the 10th of November, which I'm guessing is the 11th for Australia. Like, I'm still very excited, dude. Like, PlayStation needs to release their details on the PS5 because with Xbox releasing their details, PlayStation needs to retaliate, dude. Otherwise, a lot of people are going to be buying the Xbox way before the PS5. A lot of people have been saying that the PS5 comes out, like, a month later than the Xbox. So it would be December, like, damn near Christmas. I don't think so, though, because usually they come out around the same time, I think. I don't really know. To be honest, I don't even know why Microsoft actually released the details for the next-gen Xbox. Like, to be honest, I thought they were going to be saving it for when Sony does release PlayStation 5 details, but it turns out they didn't. So, I mean, I was very surprised about that, but at least we actually have, like, a release date and the price, dude. So, now we can actually start saving up to actually get it. Because, I mean, that thing is hefty. But I feel like with all these cross-gen bundles, like, especially with Call of Duty and stuff, you will have a lot of games that are just ready for the launch of next-gen. Oh, my God, dude, we got destroyed. Oh, that is embarrassing. Uh, I think I unlocked some cameras. I'm very surprised about that. I only got a dragon, which is hip fire kills. Pretty sure I only hit fired once, but I mean, I'll take the dragon camera. I didn't get any other cameras though, which makes it kind of sad. Dude, they keep giving me shipment and I don't understand. Like it is kill confirmed. Kill confirmed is better than domination. But I mean, shipment is just so hectic, dude. Like I could go on for days about how bad shipment is, like the spawns and everything, but there's no point. They're not going to fix it. With Black Ops Cold War, I'm so excited with every passing day, dude, just because we get more and more information regarding the game. Like, I mean, I've seen some YouTubers videos about their honest thoughts and opinions on Cold War. Like, YouTubers have got early access to the game. And I mean, they've said that they've actually enjoyed it. There's not really that much bad about the game. I mean, they've said it's very fast-paced, and as you guys know, I just love it being fast-paced. Kind of surprising that it is fast-paced, though, just because since the time that kills like 100 milliseconds longer than it is in Modern Warfare, plus they have a health bar like Black Ops 4, I'm very surprised that they said it's more fast-paced than Modern Warfare, even though it has an increased time to kill, which is actually kind of crazy. I don't know how that works, but I mean, if it works, it's worth <laughs> It kind of does remind me of World War II combined with Black Ops 4 because it has like that Black Ops 4 health bar as well as the World War II sort of feel and look to it and the boots on the ground style of it. I really do hope they release a Zombies reveal trailer even though I don't really think they're going to. 
but I do hope so just because I want there to be more like maps revealed and more information about zombies because I mean zombies have like its own little timeline and everything like it's just crazy like there's videos on YouTube sort of just documenting the timeline of every single zombies map in like chronological order it's actually really cool but those videos go on forever dude so I can't watch all of them but I mean the zombies community man with the little teaser we got at the end they've just been dissecting it like crazy and I don't understand like I don't understand how the zombies community figures anything out dude like they'll figure out the tiniest little thing on a map and link it to some big easter egg and it'll be right like it's just crazy I mean, to be honest, when I did play zombies, I only played like one map, which was the first map in Black Ops 3. I don't remember what it's called, but basically you could turn to like these squid things and it was just really sick. It was actually kind of unique. I don't know if we're gonna have something like that in Cold War, but it'd be pretty cool to see. I mean, as fun as the map was, it did get kind of boring because it was just the same thing over and over again. Like once you learn what to do for the Easter egg and the wonder weapons every single time, it sort of get a little bit boring. I mean, the wonder weapons were pretty sick, don't get me wrong, but it was just boring playing the one map over and over again. Like, especially since I didn't have the season pass and I couldn't play more maps. But I mean, the good thing is that it is rumored that Cold War does have free DLC. So like zombies maps and everything do come for free. So hopefully that is the case. Sort of following in the path of Modern Warfare, especially since they're also having a battle pass like Modern Warfare. So, I mean, I do sort of expect to see a lot of similarities with Cold War and Modern Warfare. I mean, obviously the first one being the Battle Pass, but other than that, as of right now, there's not really that many similarities, except for kind of like the style and the boots on the ground. But that kind of reminds me more of World War II than Modern Warfare. But I don't know, man, I'm just excited for this game. The beta comes out in like a month, just less than a month, and the full game comes out two months from today, just a little bit less than that. So I'm very, very excited, dude. Obviously, the main thing I am excited for is the camera grind. Like Cold War, I really want to get the Master Camera, dude. Like, it is rumored to be Dark Batter, like a reskin of it, which I'm fine with because community-wide, it is considered one of the best Master Cameras in Call of Duty history, like whether they reskin it or not. So I'm very excited to actually go for it and hopefully get it, dude, because that'll be my first Call of Duty Master Camera and my first Dark Batter Camera. So I'm very, very excited, man. Very excited to grind for it. All right, let's check out these cameras, man, because I'm pretty sure I did better than the last game. Nope, I got one camera and it's stripes. But I mean, the good thing is that I'm very close to getting some of these 10 out of 10. I think in the next few videos, I probably will work towards completing spray paint with and skulls since they are 9 out of 10 and then after that I work towards some other ones like digital stripes and dragons since they're also very close to getting 10 out of 10 but to be honest this gun is actually a beast I mean the gameplay you guys saw yeah I really didn't play the best but then again it was shipment and you do get outclassed by everyone with quicker ADS and also people just using rocket launchers and stuff but I mean this gun is a beast if you guys do want to try it out let me know down in the comment section below how you guys do with it because again this thing does shred people and I mean in my opinion whew, this gun is a beast dude but anyway Anyways, guys, as if this video, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. So, if you guys did enjoy the new camera, let me know down in the comment section below. Share your thoughts and opinions on it because, I mean, in my opinion, it looks great. But again, let me know down in the comment section. Also, with next gen consoles, dude, like Sony needs to reply to Xbox because Xbox has revealed their release date and their price. Plus, they have like a slim version of the Xbox Series X, which is actually super cheap as well. But I mean, hopefully, Sony releases something soon, like a price or a release date. Because, I mean, Sony does have the digital PS5, which you can't put the disc in and a regular. PS5 which you can put discs in so I mean I guess those are the two versions kind of like Xbox has their two versions but don't really know what's going to go on hopefully Sony does release something soon but again thank you all so much for watching hope you guys did enjoy it. if you did please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up comment down below and subscribe to the channel show support I appreciate all of it but again thank you all so much for watching hope you guys did enjoy see you all in the next one